this is Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street New Haven Methodist Church, and I am here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. We are in the midst of our Lenten season, and I wanted to share with you a devotion uh, that I've been using this Lent. Um, it is from a man named Roy Goebel, and he does Junkyard Wisdom Devotions emailed to me each day and I found this one um, uh, just touching and I thought I would share it with you today. So this is from Roy. Jesus must have had a great recruiter with him on the road trip because out of the blue 72 new volunteers showed up. We read about this in Luke 10 1 through 24. After a few instructions that seemed heavily focused on harvest and reminders to enjoy food and wine, Jesus sends the 72 out like sheep among the wolves. Yet another food analogy if you think about it. Then the 72 do their thing before returning to Jesus, surprised at all the good stuff that happened, and probably with notes on the best restaurants along the way. Maybe I shouldn't have written this while I was so hungry, but here's what struck me about the 72. Who were they? We don't know. Sure, there's lots of speculation and traditional answers, but really they're surprisingly anonymous. That makes me smile. I think about people doing great things without gaining any personal recognition. When we take a road trip, who are the anonymous people who make it happen? Who are those working without fanfare, doing their jobs and operating behind the scenes? Think about the assembly line folk who built the car, the teenager at the drive through the dishwasher who worked late after dinner, the maid who cleaned the motel room, the woman behind the counter at the gas station, and the truck drivers who delivered everything we ate, drank, wore, and used along the way. Not to mention the thousands of people who kept the road open, the water on at the rest stops, the weather alerts relevant, the radio broadcasting, and the GPS working. Let's ce celebrate people who go nameless and who help us along the way. Jesus must have had a big smile when he heard the 72 telling so many great stories. And I'm sure he knew their names. Friends, we should give thanks during the season for all of the many people, the nameless people that have helped us along the way, who help make our lives better, who help make our community better and who are doing their part to make God's kingdom a little bit better. And we too can be part of that uh, nameless crowd doing our part, whether we get recognition for it or not, but doing our part to help others, to encourage others, and to care for other people. Just something to think about during this Lenten season, as here at Main Street we continue our Lenten journey uh, through Lent, preparing and getting ready for Easter with our worship series focus, Drink from the Fountain of Grace. I want to give a few reminders uh, this Lent. We are still doing our Lenten lunches. It's a community-wide event that uh, Main Street is blessed to host. Every Wednesday from 12 to 1, we have had some wonderful food, some great speakers, and all are invited to come and enjoy the food and the message and the time with uh, other people in, from the community. Looking forward towards Holy Week, we are planning on having a Monday, Thursday communion service at 7 p.m., as well as a Good Friday service at 7 p.m., and that service will be uh, a Holy Week cantata that our choir will be offering for us for that time. On Easter, we are going to have a wonderful celebration, and we are going to be releasing butterflies again this year. So I'm so excited about that. 
Friends, I look forward to worshiping with you uh, this Sunday, uh, worshiping at 1030 in person or worshiping with you online. Have a great rest of the week. God bless.